Hello everyone. So not one but two daft Russian claims for you here. First here, Russia claims to have destroyed an M270 MLRS launcher. And the evidence presented by them is shifty to say the least. But at least here, they do seem to have hit something important, even if it isn't an M270. So firstly in the video we have a spotter drone following a Ukrainian M270 MLRS system as it moves along a road. This does look like an M270 for me, but the front does look a bit odd. This could be because of a camera angle or lighting, or it could be that additional armour and cope cages has been placed on the front, making it look a bit more peculiar. Anyway, there's then one of Russia's beloved video cuts, which we include in all of their videos. And we then see a vehicle, which is not an M270, entering a warehouse, unless it's a shape-shifting variant. But seriously, it's clearly a different vehicle. The warehouse is then seen getting destroyed by a Niskander missile. Russia shared this as being an M270 as well as support vehicles being destroyed. I have no idea if they're trying to pass this vehicle we see going in off as the M270 as proof to all the smooth brains who believe everything that Russia says. Or if they're merely using this as proof that a military building was hit here and they're just saying the M270 was inside as well which is a bit like me offering a photo of a tree as proof of Bigfoot, and saying Bigfoot is there too, is just behind the tree, trust me. The vehicle in question is actually a Kamaz fuel truck as shown here. So this was a military target, the fuel truck going in here, I assume this is maybe a fuel replenishment point or something like that, and it could even be true that it has been used by M270s. But there's zero evidence to show that M270 was present at the time. As is often the case, if an M270 was there, why not show the M270 entrant rather than a fuel truck? This was a building here, geolocated by... I forget who, and I didn't write the name down. But this does check out, the buildings are just at a different angle than the video. And here it is zoomed out, so this is in um, Mekalaev, not far from Herson. So this M270 is supporting operations around the Herson district. I don't think it would have been one which fires attackums. As from what I can tell, they are typically launched from the Odessa region. Though certainly, the range here could easily target Crimea as well with attackums, so we can't say for sure. Well, it's irrelevant anyway, as there's zero evidence their M270 was actually destroyed. Now, the next video. I recorded this one yesterday, intending to have it on its own, but then I saw this video about the M270 as well, and I decided, why not just combine the two together? So I'll play the next one now. Hello everyone, so here's a video being shared where Russia claims to have destroyed a HIMARS. So we see a drone observing a large industrial site or warehouse when a vehicle of some sort enters. I had flashbacks of a Commodore 64 trying to decipher which pixel here is the HIMARS. A vehicle enters the warehouse. A vehicle, which could be HIMARS, but it could just as likely be the pizza delivery. The footage is that poor. The drone then observes it some more, and we see a lot of notably non-military vehicles arriving, followed by an Iskander strike. To be fair, the Iskander completely levels the building, so these are very destructive, and it is an accurate strike hitting the warehouse. Now, this must have been one of the new ghost HIMARS that were sent, because nowhere in the wreckage do we see a HIMARS, or anything that looks like a HIMARS, or anything that could be HIMARS rockets, or HIMARS parts, or anything military at all. We see a crappy white car, which makes all the Russian wives who receive larders very envious, a fuel truck at the top, and a bunch of assorted industrial equipment, but nothing to suggest the HIMARS was here. This is almost as bad as the HIMARS V claimed to have destroyed, which was on the second floor of a building. I suppose we should do this a bit more properly. Here's the building, measured at roughly 25 metres, and here the vehicle. Now it's about as long as that road above it is wide, judging from this um, still shot of the video, which I measure at about roughly 4.5 metres. Let's make it 5 metres, as this is quite imprecise. But then, even giving it an extra half a metre to account for shrinkage, it would still be smaller than the 7 metres that HIMARS is. This is just a bog standard van. Which is more evidenced here. 
There's zero sign at all on this screenshot of anything military. No ammunition cook off, no military trucks, no troops knocking about. Just a car outside, a fuel truck of sorts, and a white truck in the top left corner. There's something on fire on the inside, we can't see what it is. But considering this is clearly a civilian industrial building, full of civilians at work, I'm willing to bet my arm this isn't a high Mars. Indeed, there's a moment the flames part and the burning vehicle is briefly visible, and you can see it's white. High Mars are notable for not being white. Zoomed out, this is about 30 kilometers from the front, so it is an area where you'd expect High Mars to be, to be fair. But the vehicle is too small, and the fact this is an active industrial facility and warehouse, and no military vehicles or sign of military equipment at all, I'm willing to say this isn't a High Mars. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching, and take care, everybody. I'm now uh, just south of Vovchanska, which is about 20 kilometers uh, north of here. You can hear shelling over that side, but there is also shelling taking place over on the, uh, on the east. Um, this particular place is where they're bringing the refugees that uh, from the village of Vovchanska and the surrounding areas that are, be that are being heavily shelled right now by the Russians, which is why we really need this armoured vehicle. Uh, there are plenty of pickup trucks that are going into these dangerous hotspots, but there's shrapnel flying everywhere, artillery shells everywhere. Uh, armoured vehicles are essential in this kind of environment. So with your support, we'll be able to do this work and deliver for the guys. Thank you very much.